हेलो गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर क्राइटेरिया फॉर द कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्रायंगल सो लेट्स सी व्हाट आर एक्सियम सेज आर एक्सियम 7.2 व्हिच इज ए एस ए व्हिच मींस एंगल साइड एंगल कॉन्ग्रुएंस रूल टू ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट इफ टू एंगल्स एंड इंक्लूडेड साइड ऑफ वन ट्रायंगल आर इक्वल टू द टू एंगल्स एंड इंक्लूडेड साइड ऑफ अदर ट्रायंगल In previous case, what was the scenario? There was the scenario if two sides and the included angle of one triangle is equal to two sides and the included angle of other triangle, then those two triangles will be congruent to each other. In this case, it has been said that if two angles and included side of one triangle is equal to two angles and included side of other triangle, then those two triangles will be they are supposed to be equal which means they are supposed to be congruent so in this case you can see here if two two angles of one triangle is equal theta 1 theta 2 if theta 1 theta 2 then what will be the another third angle as you already know in a triangle sum of three angles is equal to 180 degree so third angle gonna be 180 minus theta 1 plus theta 2 am i right so in this case will be the same thing because this is also a triangle and their two angles is supposedly equal to two angles of this triangle so third angle going to be 180 degree minus theta 1 plus theta 2 so you can see here that if three in the in both of these triangles sides can be anything okay let's suppose sides can be anything but angles of both of these triangles are same if it is 60 this is also 60 if it is 30 this is also 30 if it is 90 this will be also 90 their sides can be anything as you already know suppose suppose in this case i am considering this as 90 degree angle at a as 90 degree angle at b as 30 degree and angle at c as 60 degree same will be the scenario for this if it is 3 and it is 4 so what will be this branch it will be 5 and now draw another triangle this is 90 this is 30 or say 60 and this is 30 and this is suppose this is d this is e and f in this case what i am taking the scenario as 6 8 and 10 what you can observe here i have drawn two triangles considering same angles but their sides are different so now you can you tell me if these two triangles are same or not so of course not these two are not congruent when you'll overlap one over the other you'll see that these triangles are of different size because the length of these two triangles are very different to each other but what you need to get thing one more thing here that one side should be equal any of the sides actually it is not the case ki if only this side should be equal any of the sides of this triangle can be equal this side of this which is which is not included between these two angles can be equal these two sides can be equal and this two sides can be equal to so it is not the mandatory conditions the side included between the two angles should be the equal any of the sides can be equal to the any of one side of this triangle then then only you will get two congruent angles okay so what are the conditions you need to remember here two triangles there are two triangles i have drawn two triangles if two angles of one triangle is equal to the two angles of another triangle then the third angle going to be equal why because as you already know the third angle will be the 180 minus sum of two two triangles two angles and same will be the case with this triangle So you know here, all of the three angles of one triangle is equal to the all of the angles of this triangle, 
and one more condition is there there any of the one side of this triangle should be equal to the any of one side of this triangle then only these two triangles will be congruent to each other so based on this criteria and and the criteria i have discussed before i'll be taking question or problems in the next video lecture thank you